I think a fourth I'd say is leadership that is courageous and humble. Have to be courageous. Unity is hard work. I mean, Jesus is for it and the enemy is against it. And you have to be courageous as a city movement leader, but you have to be humble. The moment a city starts to think that the unity movement is about you as a leader, you're dead in the water. Uh, and most of us are leaders, so we're used to kind of championing things. And I say city movement is really about championing other people and being very careful that it doesn't become about championing you as a leader. So Mac Pierce, some of you know Mac. Mac was our founder at, at Movement Day. And Mac would go around the city and, you know, he'd talk to somebody. He said, I, I'd like us to bring together. And they say, well, I have this vision for the city. And Mac would say, well, let's help that vision live. And then he'd go to a nonprofit leader and he'd say, I'd, I'd love us to come together in the city. And the profit lead, nonprofit leader would say, but I have this vision for the city. And Mac would say, let's help that vision live. So unity movement is really about championing other people and being very careful that it doesn't become about championing us. So this, this incredible blend of courage mixed with personal humility. Um, we've all seen churches and it's not, you know, we've seen lots of them in the US, but I suspect it even happens even here in the UK, is where a pastor really good hearted and he's a courageous leader, but suddenly there becomes a shift. And you know, their church is really about him or her. And city movement activity is really about championing other people. So I, I just encourage you in that. And you're a great model to that. So. Mm -hmm.